been associated with this bungalow and with the family since almost since the time that we came to Pune. And they've been very close friends. This was his living room. We used to come over here when our children were small. So though we were looking for something, this was not intended because it was a friend's house. Uh, but it just happened accidentally and we took it on and then we worked on it. So the first thing that uh, happened was we just gave up all the barriers. We just took off all the brickwork that was existing and started thinking fresh. Then we got a floor plate, we decided our requirements. We had decided that we would always stay a boutique studio. So all the designers would work from here and our collaborations are outside. So the floor plate was enough for about 10 designers working with us. And that's how we got into the planning mode. We had to make a lot of changes to incorporate what we wanted. And, and to bring about the look and feel. So we had to go in for a lot of, uh, you know, I would say an introspection as to what you want. It's very, the most difficult thing for an architect to do is on her own office because then it, it goes into designing something that it is for you and it reflects what you are. It reflects your personality. There's so much of artwork around. There are sculptures, there are plants. It's a very, I would say, a very comfortable kind of a space. We were lucky to get this space with so many trees around. And some of them were nurtured uh, by the earlier owner and some of them we, we added on. But now, having been here for the last 10 years, it's, it's so nice, it's so cozy, it's so green. I used to come and work over here. We used to have wonderful birds coming in. And it was like an oasis. Actually, it's been a roller coaster. It was really fun working here. Like I got to learn a lot of things. So, ma'am, they are very good at explaining things, and they are really, um, I mean, comfortable to talk to. So, it was really nice experience. There are things which we have collected over the years. There are so many things which we have bought where we went on tours. When there used to be exhibitions, there used to be so many other things where we have collected these things. So, everything has a story. I like the work aspect a lot. I admire the way he is hard working. From all circumstances, work is his priority. So that's what keeps us going too. There are times, you know, when you are you just feel low, but when you look at him, that's what keeps you going ahead. Everything has a sense of belonging. The frog sculptures in our office. So they were picked up one by one. So those two frogs at the back, I call them Anju and Ashwin. Those two in the conference, I call them the orchestra. And these two are the doorkeepers. There are two mice here, they are the doorkeepers. <laughs> a bold design is something that has the integrity and the ability and the conscience and the guts, I would say, to stand out. To me, it would mean uh, having a recall value after having seen it, after having forgotten about it. It comes back to you instantly as something you start to relate to when you need to recall. High recall value, according to me, is a bold design.